Hi, my name is Mary. I'm going to be getting married soon to a man named Joseph. I have some amazing news to share with you. Uh, just the other day, all of a sudden, something changed. I saw a very bright light and something that I've never seen before. It was an angel. He knew my name and he told me that his name was Gabriel and I wasn't to be afraid. Well, I was shaking like a leaf, but I calmed down and he said that he had something very important to tell me. He said that he had been sent by God and that God loved me and had chosen me to be the mother of a son. God's son. And that this baby was to be called Jesus. And he will be known as the son of the Most High and his reign will never end. Well, I'm not married yet, so I can't have children. But the angel told me that even though this is the case, by God's power, I will become pregnant. And the holy baby will be the son of God. Well, just when I thought all the surprises had finished, the angel told me something else. My cousin Elizabeth, who is too old to have children, and she desperately wants to have children, is going to have a son too. Well, I'm just so excited, and I'm going to go and share my news with my cousin Elizabeth, and I think you're going to hear from her also. Before I go, I'm going to go and talk to Joseph, who I'm due to marry, to explain things to him as best as as I can. Oh, what a day. Am I ready to sit down? Oh, my word. Oh, oh, hello. My name's Elizabeth. I've, I'm so happy today. I've got to tell someone, so I'm going to tell you. Um, it's all about me and my husband, Zachariah. And the two of us, we live a sort of humble life, really. We just work for the Lord and we pray. And Zachariah, about six months ago, he went and did his priestly duties. And he was um, there in the inner sanctum and he'd got the incense and everything. And when he came out, he couldn't speak. And he came straight home. And after a lot of mum, 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 I got the message that an angel had been to see him in the inner sanctum. I was absolutely amazed. An angel, I said. What did the angel have to say? Well, he wrote it down, of course, and the angel had told him this most amazing news. Now, Zach is old, and I'm no spring chicken, and we've always wanted babies, but they've never happened, and so we'd given up, and we just are living this simple life, do you know what? This angel told him that I was to have a baby. Now, Zach apparently went and said, you're joking, almost. He didn't quite say that, but he said, I don't believe you. Well, this was an angel of God. And of course, what happened? Zachariah was told he wouldn't speak until the baby was born. So he came back home and he felt very down about what he'd said to the angel and he can't speak. And I'm at home because this past six months, I am amazed I'm having a baby, but I can't believe it myself. And I'm having this baby, it's so exciting. And today Mary came and for the first time I felt the baby stir and what a wonderful, wonderful thing it was. And Mary and I sat down, but Mary has news too. And this is the incredible thing because Mary's news is she is having a baby and that she also had a message from an angel of God. And wow, her baby is a babe that she must call Jesus, and he is a son, the son of God. <sighs> My baby is to be called John. Now that's really strange because we've got no John's on my side or John's on uh, Zachariah's side, but the angel told 
uh, Zach that the baby was to be called John and that he was to be a man of God and he was to prepare a way. So we have got this tremendous news and Mary's going to stay with me until the baby's born, my baby, and I'm going to help her and the two of us are going to really love being together because God has chosen us and we're just humble servants and it is so lovely, this news for me, an old woman, to have a baby at my age. So. Zacharias, hello, it's Mary here. I've come to visit Elizabeth and she's told me your great news about the baby. I've got amazing news too and I can't wait to tell you all about it. But first, let me know, why can't you speak? <laughs> Elizabeth said that you were alone and you were in the sanctuary um, and it was your turn and then an angel came to you in a vision. Um, I wonder, um, did the angel tell you his name? Um, was it Gabriel? Uh, oh, I, I know this too, I think, because an angel um, came to see me and, and his name was Gabriel. Um, so I thought it might be the same messenger from God. Um, and it was amazing news, he told me. Um, I am to have a baby um, and he's to be the son of God. Okay, you were told that Elizabeth and you were going to have a child and that you were to call him John. Um, and you were told the world, you were told that this would bring great joy uh, and John will be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is amazing news, but why can't you speak? Oh, I see. You didn't think that it was possible for you and Elizabeth to have a baby because you're both so old. Oh, and then you didn't believe. And then from that point, you weren't able to speak. Um, but it, it is true. Elizabeth is having a baby. It's marvellous news. Um, I will stay to look after her and I can learn from her experience too. Um, did the angel say anything else? Oh, when the baby was born, I was to name him John, uh, which is God's chosen name for the baby. Um, I will do this and, and then I'll be able to speak again. This is truly God's um, will that Elizabeth should have a baby boy called John and who's to have a special job to do. And I'm going to have a baby called Jesus and he's going to be the son of the Most High. How good the Lord is to us. Um, and I will stay with Elizabeth until the baby is born and care for her and, and her for me.